Why, whenever I record, do I get like hiccups? What is going on guys and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to run through my mood board for spring summer 2018. So I'm going to put everything in that has interested me and going to inspire me for my wardrobe for spring summer 2018. So that includes the likes of films, brands, piece, different pieces of clothing, artists, music, colors, people on the internet, patterns, stripes, I don't know, everything. Everything that's gonna influence my spring and summer wardrobe is in this video. So yeah, I've got a little list here on my phone. And yeah, let's get into it. So first up is films and the first film that is going to really influence me this year I feel is definitely La Haine. So my first capsule collection for my sort of brand is going to be based on La Haine. So it's definitely inspiring me for that. I have set myself a date to complete that buy and release it which is May 31st which is on video now so... I guess I have to do it. But anyway, the way that Lahaina is influencing my wardrobe especially is for the sort of springtime. So they have a lot of vintage windbreakers, sort of like Nike jackets. And I really want to try and incorporate that vintage style into my wardrobe. Definitely, I'm very interested in vintage trainers. So Stan Smith, Reebok Classics, everything that's in that film, Air Force 2s I think are in that film, but probably Air Force 1s, especially for spring, are going to be very, very in as they always are. And I, will, I like a more slimmer silhouette, especially for the summer. Second up is the 1997. Adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, which has Leo DiCaprio in it. I just say one thing about this shirts, 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 shirts. Literally, is just like summer in a film. Like that, my summer wardrobe is that entire film. There's so many shirts in it that I really like. I've been looking for the actual ones they used, so maybe like props of them that I would kind of want to get because there's some really cool shirts in there, but I can't find any on eBay. So if you do find one, DM me on Instagram or link one in the description or in the comments or whatever. Please, I need to find one. So as for colours and patterns this year, I've got a number of different colours. On the lighter spectrum, we've got yellow and light blue. So very light wash denim I like especially. Almost like light wash denim with bleach splotches all over. I really like that look. I have, I've seen a few people pull it off quite well and I do think that it could work in the summer. And a colour that I think it goes really well with is yellow. Just a more pastel yellow, definitely. I want to get more pastel colours into my wardrobe a lot for the spring summer. Yellow kind of reminds me of summer and sunflowers, so it's definitely a colour to bring in for those seasons. I do have a few pieces of clothing already that are yellow, like my golf fleurs and my weekday hoodie, and they are kind of making their way in more and more into my style this year and this season. Again, moving on with the denim, I want a pair of washed black jeans, so that's sort of like grey black. It looks really cool and I really, really like it. Again, with a few bleach pl splashes all over it, it looks really, really nice. And I, I think like getting a vintage pair of denim will definitely help and customising them myself will look a lot better and I'll probably make a video out of that if I do do that. The final colour is green. I really like green, all greens. I like the lime green, especially the golf fleurs. I might find, find those and pick those up, I'm not too sure. I like forest green. I like pretty much every single colour of green except for olive. Olive is out, especially for spring, summer. It's more of a autumn, winter sort of colourway. So that's not going to be incorporated into my wardrobe at all. I'm not really a big fan of olive anyway. And I do want to bring it in more for next autumn. So I'll work on that. As for prints, I would like a few more floral prints. I really like the lily shirt from Supreme, obviously, as well as the skull shirt from Stussy. So the floral prints will definitely come into more short sleeve shirts rather than anything else. Again, they just scream summer. So fun is stripes and of course they come in every single year. I do like the candy cane stripes, the red and white, but also the guess ASAP sort of stripes will come back in again. I do have a cotton candy edition, I'll probably wear that a lot more. Has a lot more pastel colours in it and with a nice tan it looks amazing. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Definitely in the spring wearing a few of my CDG striped long sleeves because in that sort of like cool evening it'll be really really nice and I would love to wear those a lot more. I do like them a lot and just simply on their own with like a pair of shorts or like some wide trousers they look amazing. As for people who influenced my style this year, one of them is definitely going to be the YouTuber Jacob Wallace. He lives in LA and his style has always been very related about shorts and stuff. So I kind of want to get into that a little bit more. He also experiments with colours very well and I really like that. He also has this sort of vintage aesthetic which he continually uses throughout his wardrobe and I really, really like his style. I like his collection as well, so I'd be interested to pick up maybe a few pieces from his collection, but shipping is a bit of a bummer, but never mind. And finally is ASAP Rocky, and just for this photo alone, I mean, that is like summer goals in an outfit, just 100%.
I kind of feel that moves nicely onto music and that is definitely my main music inspiration for summer that's going to affect my outfits is Tyler the Creator. The man with the colours, literally he just wears every colour under the sun. He knows how to pull it off as well which is incredible and I think his style is exceptional. His music reflects that, especially his Flower Boy album last year, that was amazing, I loved it. Had a very high summer sort of feeling and vibe in it which is really cool and again I think his brand is definitely a, a brand that will bring in more colours into my wardrobe but again shipping is a pain. What's up guys, it's Emily Obrick here with Complex News and today we're here at Supreme. The four brands that I'm especially interested in this summer are Golf, Stussy, Weekday and Carhartt. I think Carhartt's collection has been exceptional, I really really like it. They've introduced more colours into their collections as well and some of the trousers and jackets they've got are really lightweight and really really nice and the matching sets are amazing. Don't think I can pull them off but... I like the colours that they've used. Just to see again, they're killing it every year as always. Weekday, of course, is a bit of a less, lesser known brand, but I do feel like their winter collection was very, very good and their baggy trousers will come in a lot more. I really like their like, aesthetic that Weekday has and I want to see what they'll have for the summer. And finally, golf, of course, the colours and everything is exceptional and I love them. The sub for spring. So as for the spring and summer pieces that I'm really interested in incorporating into my wardrobe, it's going to be a lot more baggy trousers, especially for spring. Maybe a few shorts in the summer as well, but definitely baggy, baggy trousers and baggy silhouettes on the bottom, especially for spring because it's going to be that nice flowy sort of mixed temperature, especially here in the UK. Short sleeve shirts as always, I don't need to go on about that again, I seem to always just babble on about those. Again on bottom, talking about bottoms, a more straighter fit jean, so 501s in a lighter wash. With a lighter to wash the denim seems to become a little bit lighter because it's been treated a lot more so it's not as heavy meaning it's much more breathable and lighter to walk around in. As for on top for spring especially long sleeve white t-shirts I really really like with a nice tactical vest over the top just kind of levels out with the temperature again and it's really really nice combo you can kind of incorporate that over autumn as well so spring and autumn for that sort of look is really really cool also a few oversized pieces so oversized sweatshirts matched with some shorts look really cool very reminiscent of jacob wallace as well as some oversized shirts i really want to try out that style and um, geared towards gear also does that has that sort of aesthetic and i think freddie coombs from the basement he has that really cool style and I really admire the like work with shirts especially. So definitely kind of want to try that out for the spring summer. And finally I want to introduce a few more athletic shorts and maybe jersey shorts. I'm not really a big fan of shorts but it's nice to try them out. Maybe a, like the, the classic mesh shorts are really cool. Especially a pair of champion ones, vintage ones that look really really cool as well and I really like those. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. That has been my mood board for spring summer 2018. I hope you liked the video. I am try still trying to reach 200 subs, so please hit subscribe. It means the world to me. I just want to reach it. It's a goal that I've set to reach before March, especially the end of March at least. If I can do that, I can just keep pushing my target higher and higher. So thank you for watching. Leave a like and comment. Share with your friends and family and everyone around the world. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Ah, <laughs>